Thank you. Um, without further ado, it's a pleasure for me to uh, welcome Dr. Doyin Salami, who is the chairperson of Economic Advisory Council to the President of Nigeria, um, and also the CEO of Kindness Edge Consulting. Dr. Doyin Salami uh, um, is the chairman of this of this advisory council that was constituted by the President Mohamed Buhari administration. He leads the team that is tasked with advising the presidency on matters relating to economic growth economic policy and fiscal analysis. Before this appointment, Dr. Salami was a member of the country's economic management team and the monetary policy committee of the Central Bank of Nigeria. He is currently a member of the International Monetary Funds, the IMF Advisory Group for Sub-Saharan Africa, um, and is also a member of the board of the Nigerian Economic Summit Group, uh, also a, a group that I also you know, proudly belong to. He is the MD and CEO of Kainos Edge Consulting, which he co-founded in 2014. Uh, please join me in welcoming Dr. Doyin Salami. Hello? Hello? Yes, we can hear you, sir. The floor is yours. Oh, you can. All right, thank you very much. Um, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, your excellencies, uh, it's a pleasure to uh, join you uh, on this call uh, to discuss um, the Nigerian economy, especially with um, particular reference to transport, uh, and, you know, to, to, to the sectors of um, transport, uh, energy, and ICT. Um, let, I, I will forward to the organizers a presentation after my um, verbal discussion because when we were putting it together, it actually seemed rather tedious to be playing around with slides. I would rather just talk to you and then you can read the slides yourself. If anybody has questions or comments thereafter, there are contact addresses there by which, through which I can be reached. But let me set out the basic stall. Um, Nigeria, as you may well know, um, in terms of economic size, we're talking of an economy around about $400 billion in size. Yes, I know that that is less than uh, Sweden's, which is somewhere around about $550 billion, if my recollection is good. And I know that Nigeria's population is probably is manifold that of Sweden. If I recall, I think Sweden is slightly over 10 million people, and Nigeria is somewhere around about 200 million people. But having said that, um, my view is that the issues or the sectors that are the focus of attention are particularly key. Um, even though there are three broad sectors, in other words, the ICT sector, the energy sector, and the transport sector, but at least two of these sectors um, cover a multiplicity of others. So let, let, if, if we were to take the energy sector, for example, Oil and gas is certainly one element of the oil, uh, sorry, of the energy sector. Electricity is a second component of the energy sector as far as Nigeria is concerned. And when you look at electricity, then there is the whole area of renewables, which is a sector of the economy that is coming up, you know, quite strongly and which has enjoyed a lot of support in uh, in over recent period of time. Now, let me, you know, go quickly to discussing some of these issues so that, you know, we can, at least I can set out broadly for you, ladies and gentlemen, you know, where where I see some of the opportunities that, that kind of come to, that are available to businesses, both in Nigeria and in Sweden. So to begin with, um, if, if we look, uh, you know, irrespective of what, what we take, let us, the Honorable Minister for Trade and Investment in Nigeria um, had said earlier that the ICT sector grew in quarter two of uh, 2020 by approximately 17%. Now, 
the ICT sector is one of Nigeria's six biggest sectors. These six sectors account for roughly 75% of Nigeria's total GDP. And ICT is now roughly 10% of Nigeria's GDP. Now, for me and for a lot of Nigerians, ICT, essentially, let me just call it the technology sector, is becoming a very ubiquitous sector. In other words, for all of us, a lot is now revolving around ICT. And ICT has a very particular, I'm not going to say peculiar, but certainly particular characteristic that means for Nigeria over the next, certainly decade or even longer than that, a, a, a many sectors that are going to drive growth in Nigeria will depend on the ICT sector. So the Honorable Minister uh, uh, Otumba Adeni Adebayo had said in his um, comments on ICT, had alluded to smart cities, had alluded to payments. But for me, where ICT is particularly important for Nigeria is act actually at even more uh, fundamental levels. The Nigerian government, our president in June last year, if I am correct, had said that. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. You're back. Those Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, I'm sure. I think the I think we've lost Dr. Salami again. Um, unfortunately, this issue. Is um, Dr. Salami. Um, 